Hey guys, today I'm going to show you like a custom glitch effect um, where the video has like little glitch marks on the actual screen. It looks pretty sick in an edit, um, just like my real life edit. Um, if any of you were wondering, I got the clips from GoPro DK and he has some amazing videos, so obviously go check him out. Um, and hopefully, he'll actually give you some clips to edit, just like he has for me. So, um, back to the video. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this effect on here now. See where like all the little blocks come up on here. So if we open up Sony Vegas and you want to grab your clip, um, on the audio track you want to mark out where you want the effects to happen. So on mine I've got it on like little little beats like that. Um, and what you do is you just press the M key and it will add a marker. <clears throat> right now, so on your video, on these markers you want to split them by pressing the S key, like I already have done. And then with all of these you simply want to uh, click on like say the in end video hold shift and click your mouse and then we want to insert video track by right clicking <coughs> excuse me like so then you hold control and you drag it above like that so now you have uh, another video track above with you, these videos so what you want to do is hit event pan crop now this effect is very similar to the shard effect or the um, screen crack effect. Um, but yeah, you go onto mask, you hit your check button. And all you simply do is create these little boxes like this. And then again. Now on the video you're not actually going to be able to see anything happening. Um, the reason for this, I'll show you in a second. Um, <clears throat> I'll do one more like that. Right, now what you want to do is composition. Now this is where you'll be able to see them happening. So you want to push this inwards, about there, so, so, some, something like there will do. And you go to basically the end video track, or I usually do it to the 12 keyframes, um, and then you just hit default. And now what you're going to be able to see on this first video is like that. Now, like I said, it's a really simple effect. Um, I did give out a glitch overlay, but to be honest, making your own effects look so much better. Um, again, go on to the next video, and then mask out the part you want, or where you want the effect to happen. Um, I'll do one here. Again, go up to position. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I, like I said, it's about 12 keyframes I do it to. Um, so sorry, we need to push that one in, and then go to uh, 12 keyframes, and then go to default. Okay, and you just basically do that all the way along, like so, um, and then it basically we just add the effects. So I'll do one more, just quickly, and we'll leave it like that. Um, zoom this in, go to about 12 keyframes or more, and then default. So, on here, you're just basically going to have these effects pop up, like this, um, throughout, uh, basically for uh, however long you've done the video for, but it looks a really good effect because it happens quick, like that. And then what you want to do is simply, you want to change your project properties from stereoscopic 3D mode to the red cyan, um, and then hit apply and OK. What we can do, because you're going to lose color, you can go on color corrector secondary, scroll down to see boost midtones, and then just drag and drop it on to here. And now you can copy my settings, um, but it's literally just the saturations all the way up. Um, and then do it for the bottom uh, video track as well, and you see your color will come back like so. Um, but what we then add is the stereoscopic 3D adjust. Now, if I just move this across for you, so you can guys can see it, um, I got different ones. Um, you can copy the settings on here, but I just have like a really basic one. You drag and drop it onto the video track, like this, and then you see how there's like a little hint of green and red in there, just to make this glitch effect a little bit better. And it will look like that. Now, if I pre-render this, it might take a little while, um, but as you can see, the effect's starting to look better already. Okay, and then basically once you've rendered out all your video, the best thing to then add is um, RSMB, um, which is there, 
and I did give you a download for it and actually uh, some info on what um, kind of video effect uh, video effects kind of blurs I did and things like that so um, I usually drag the feed one on because obviously they're for Call of Duty videos but um, you just add that to the final video and then what it'll do will make these run really smoothly into your video um, but that's it for today guys I hope you guys like it um, comment, rate, subscribe and I'll catch you guys